Here I am with Miss Chow. We're back. We're back and we're eating more food today. Yay! Let's eat. Hey guys, it's Frederick with Back of Bike Tours and Miss Chow with Back of Bike Tours. Hello. Uh, in our last video, we were eating, we ate three pho on the video to try to find a really good location and recommendation that we can make to travelers come to Ho Chi Minh City. We're back at it again today. We're gonna eat three more places and we're gonna continue trying to find that one spot that we can recommend to you guys. So behind us is Pho Hua Pasteur. This is a really famous spot. It's been around since I've been in Saigon, which has been over a decade. Um, really, really famous. I haven't been here in an uh, extremely long time. One thing I remember is that they always have the little Chinese uh, donuts uh, with the pho, which is something you don't always see. Um, so I'm excited to eat that again today. We're excited to try it. When's the last time you were here? I think 10 years. 10 years ago, yeah. okay. So we need a refresher, all right? Okay, here we are, Pho Hua Pasteur. We've ordered our bowl. We're keeping the same at every restaurant. We're ordering the same thing. We're gonna be ordering the tenderloin, the brisket, and the beef meatball. Um, it's hit the table. Uh, right away, the, the aroma is just very normal. A lot of uh, onion coming through, but it looks good, huh? Yeah, the presentation is good. Yeah, and the broth looks really clean. Yeah. Uh, interesting, this place, if you uh, are not eating beef and you want to eat chicken, this place has chicken pho as well. So, let's give it a taste. I haven't I haven't given it a taste yet. It's been a long time since I've eaten here. I'm excited. You ready? Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's got some really good flavor to it. Right away, it, it hits you and it's really clean. Yeah. But I don't, it doesn't strike me as being very beefy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hard to describe. Like, yeah. um, it's to get the pho flavor. Yeah, but you wish it was deeper? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But it's still, it's not bland at all. It's still get that flavor, but it's just quite yeah. bland still right now. So I will have to try more to see. Yeah, I have to agree with what she's saying. It, it feels like um, the, the depth of flavor for me really isn't there on, on what I would expect, uh, or what I would want. Um, the beef here looks really nice, actually. I like that, that it's like, kind of like these, um, uh, almost like chopped, chopped beef. Mm -hmm. Where the other, uh, the other ones that we've had recently have been like really kind of thick cut. This seems like really nice and easy to eat. That's a big meatball, huh? Yeah, we go with the meatball. Mm. Mm. Oh, this lime does not want to come out. At Pho Hua, they have these Chinese donuts. Okay, this is a mixture of wheat flour and baking soda. What you can do for these is just throw them in. These are really good. I've had that in a long time. It's good, it's a donut. Is a donut ever bad? It's really good. All right, so we just finished our bowl of pho here at Pho Hua Pester. It's been a really long time since I've had it. Um, for me, uh, I'm gonna let Miss Chow score it first. Um, so far, it's really hard to describe or like score, but uh, for me, because this one is get the flavor, but um, it's not really stand out, so I just score it 2.7, yeah. Now, uh, before I heard her score, I, I was debating it. Um, and I, I, I really think that she has a perfect score. I think 2.7 is right where this uh, pho is. Um, the, the flavor itself, it didn't have that depth of flavor. Everything felt a little bit surface level to me. Like it was salty and sweet enough, but there just was, it felt like there was something missing. Uh, the standouts here would have been the Chinese donut. I love that. Uh, that, that really is uh, kind of made my score go up. And the brisket cut was really good. The brisket. Um, I, I wish it was a little bit of a smaller piece and had a little bit more fat on it. Where at the in the last video, Pho Fu Vung had too much fat on it. This one, it just didn't feel like it had enough fat on it. But the nice like roast beef uh, flavor in that brisket was really good. Um, so that's it. We're gonna go off to our next stop.
Okay, our second stop of the day, Pho Vietnam. This one, I'm, I'm really excited. This is actually a recommendation that we have in our little brochure map that we give to customers at the end of the tour with recommendations. It was recommended to me by one of my guides that uh, knows a lot about food, so I trusted it and I put it on, and I haven't tried it yet. Have you been here? No, it's no. so new for me. And right away, I see they have like a Michelin 2023 thing going on, so um, now my expectations are getting set really high. They do a homemade noodle here, and I, I believe this should be a southern pho? Yeah. We're gonna find out. We don't know a lot about this place, but uh, that it was highly recommended. So we're gonna give this one a try. Expectations set high. I'm hoping this is the pho because we are right in the center of District One right now. I could, I could see the Bintan Market from here. Um, so this would be if this is a really good bowl of pho, it's gonna make for a great recommendation for everybody. So let's go ahead and let's try. All right, so the, the the hot stone bowl has hit the table. This thing is at a, ro uh, a rolling boil. I need to quickly add this tenderloin into there, uh, into the broth uh, to make sure that it gets cooked. Uh, it's fairly thin cut. Yeah, it looks good. So this is cool. I did not expect this. I did not know this was gonna be served like this at all. So cool, I mean, presentation 10 out yeah. of 10 right this is cool this is not your everyday bowl of pho and as you add this beef in here that really brings that temperature down it has uh, stopped boiling it's got a first impression first impression yeah. first impression is cool right and then also that uh, homemade noodle here that homemade pho noodle is so cool I'd say at the last place that pho hua I really liked how they chopped they chop this uh, tenderloin. I kind of like that because I feel like this tenderloin that we get isn't really that tender. Mm. It just seems to be very chewy. Yeah, um, yeah. So, okay, let's try that broth. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that is good. What's up? What's up? Let's go. Wow, that you could really taste the aromatics coming through on this. This uh, is a, maybe as I'm eating it, I almost say like, like I'm really glad that that just kicked me in the mouth, but as the taste kind of comes out, I'm left with like a little bit too much of a salty taste in my mouth. Yeah, so I, I, I want to add a little bit of lime, but I'm really happy that I just got, I just really taste that there's a lot of background flavor. This is exactly what the last one was missing, where it was too much of a, uh, uh, like a, a shallow flavor. This is a deep flavor, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this, I'm very excited to try this noodle. Some mint. This here is the uh, rice patty herb. I didn't talk about that last time. It's an extremely bitter herb. Okay, and they have, they, they, you see again, they have the Chinese donuts on the table like the last place, but these are hard. Maybe. That last place is Chinese donuts, Fa Hua. Their, their donuts were nice and soft uh, and impressive. I'm not even gonna eat these unless they make me pay for that one I just broke. Uh, then, then I might eat it. Yeah, this is a very crunchy one. And I mean, when you add it in, it gets absorbed, but I really like those soft ones. Um, all right, I'm, I'm pumped about this noodle. Noodle is the first thing I'm going for. This handmade noodle. I'm very excited. Look at that. Sexy, huh? Ooh, sexy lady. Let's go. Yeah, soft and chewy. Soft and silky. Silky is about This is soft and silky. Yeah. 
really the texture I expect on a brisket cut. That was that's really good. A good mix of mat, a good mix of fat, a good mix of uh, meat, and uh, just the texture of the way that it's been braised was spot on. Really. Good. Okay, so the second pho of this video is in the books. Uh, pho Vietnam. Let's go to Miss Chow and let's see what she thought. For me, it's like two point five. Uh, yeah. Why? Um. For me, the broth is really something really highlight for the fall. Mm. So I go to straight with the broth and I think I get the flavor, but it's quite salty for me. And it's missing some sweetness when I'm really highlight the sweetie too. Uh, ah. So, yeah. Uh, for me, this was really interesting. We had a little bit of a debate if this was a uh, northern or southern pho. Mm -hmm. um, because for me, a southern pho, when you taste the aromatics as strong as you do in this bowl, that to me leans towards southern. Um, the, the toppings and things on the side, that donut that you get on the side, that is supposed to be a northern, uh, a northern condiment that you would have, not condiment, that would be a northern item that's served on the side. My score for this bowl of pho is gonna be uh, 4.1. I'm gonna go 4.1. I thought this was a great bowl. Um, those noodles are silky smooth. The broth has a ton of flavor that really kicks you in the mouth. Um, the brisket was cooked great. The meatball's great. Um, the tenderloin uh, is okay for me. Uh, that wasn't anything special, but everything else in this bowl was really good. Uh, it stands out. I think this is, this is a must try if you're, and it's so centrally located, you can just walk here. Okay, we're gonna go off to another popular spot here in District 1 and see what you guys think. Uh, so we're like a few steps away from uh, Buckwin and uh, my bike has died. That's uh, pretty uh, unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and walk it over here. Okay, so bike problems aside, we've made it to our uh, third location in the video and our last spot today. Uh, this is Fulwood, and this is a spot that's located right in the heart of the backpacker area of Ho Chi Minh City. Not my favorite place in the city, but this is a good spot for early morning or a late night bowl of pho. I haven't been here in many years, so I'm interested to try it again. It was one of the first bowls of pho that I had when I first came to Vietnam. They also serve a, a dish, and I'll throw it in the video a little extra. They have a uh, bao kha, which is a braised beef stew. It's one of my favorite dishes, and I think it's unique. If you come here, you should probably get it if uh, you're not gonna have a chance to eat it anywhere else. When was the last time you were here? Quite long also, when I was really young, six years old. Oh, when you were six years old? Yeah. Was the last time you ate here? Yeah. And you know that you like this spot? Oh yeah, I like it. It's okay. like every time before I go to the primary school, my mom would take me here for the breakfast and then, yeah. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go give it a try. Okay, so it's hit the table. It looks good, it's a giant bowl. And I like um, that we have this egg on the side here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not they put the egg in the broth on the side as I'm shaking. Uh, they put this egg in the broth on the side. I love that. Um, excellent. So let's give it a try. The broth is good. Um, the broth is good. The broth is surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be uh, first looking at it and, and from my memory. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's not very sweet. It's uh, a bit salty. I can't really taste the aromatics and the aftertaste is uh, it's okay. Um, yeah, I think it's good. Uh, yeah. It's like, a, it, it, again, it's one of those kind of like um, shallower, uh, light flavors of, of pho that you get. Yeah. What do you think? It's different a lot since the last time that I tasted it. Oh. Something different here, but I don't know. Yeah, it, oh. it's, um, it's light for me than before. Lighter than before? Yeah, yeah, mm. I think. The first cut to my brisket here. That's brisket, looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, 
Um, right away, the, the cut of the brisket, it's, uh, that cut, was, that, that piece is too chewy for me. Right away. I mean, the, the flavor is really good, though. That fat that I'm chewing on, there's that cut was too, too much. I think this looks like a better one. I'm gonna judge it on this piece, not the piece of my mouth. Although the flavor on the fat is really good. Still the same? Or is I'm better? still chewing. It's like a little bit of a better cut of brisket. Uh, sliced correctly. That was better. But flavor wise is good. Texture isn't exactly there for me. Mm. But it's good. Yeah. Uh, this noodle, the pho, seems, to me it seems a little bit thicker cut. Mm. Thicker, like it's it's wide, but it's like a thin wide, but it seems uh, yeah, thicker, yeah. right? Uh, interesting. Almost like a, uh, like a... Hold you? Hold you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's not easy to guess my style, yeah. Okay, so we're not gonna leave the table for this review um, because we're gonna bring you a little something extra after the review. We're going to talk about this dish, Baja. Um, so for me, um, a, a middle ground bowl of pho. I think this is a 2.5. Mm. What do you think? I make it. Um, the broth is okay. The meat is average. It's really different with um, the time, the last time that I tried. So 2.7. 2.7. Okay, uh, that's a review. I mean, it's not it, it's not a terrible bowl of pho or anything like that. If you're in the, the backpacker area, especially if you've been drinking and you want a bowl of pho, pho win is a good choice. Come on out here and eat this. Um, okay, let's talk about the other dish that we have here. Oh, this is money. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. When my dad came to visit Vietnam, he absolutely loved eating this every day. He was uh, so uh, excited that he could eat beef stew for breakfast. So we have the big chunks of braised beef here, and usually this is this should be quite fatty. Um, the fatty pieces are really nice. Uh, it should like melt in your mouth as you're chewing through it, like a, like a braised beef stew will do. Um, and then it's often served with carrots and onions. And this broth is coming from a, a mixture of like a Chinese spice, spice powder, sugar, garlic, shallot. And let's give this a taste. It's been a long time since I had this. Ah, it's decent. Oh, it's good. But when you get this, you could choose to get this with a noodle. You can have it with a pho noodle or a uh, wheat noodle. Um, but I love to get it with the bread, the Vietnamese baguette. Uh, so light and airy. And you just rip that bad boy up. And you can dunk it in here. And this dish is served with uh, uh, very similar, exactly the same herbs as you get with pho. Yeah. I love me some bread. I prefer with a noodle. Uh -huh. She's not a bread fan. Mm. This is really good. Um, and I think uh, if you come out to pho win and you want to get pho, go ahead and get the ball call. It's not that much more expensive and uh, it's good to try something else. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna go get my bike fixed so I can bring you part three and see if there's other fuss spots that you need to check out when you're in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, wish me luck. Bye everybody.